Evening, girlflings. Yeah, I decided to do um, an Amster tip video tonight. Um, if you're on an Amster and you're having a problem where your Amster is constantly weeing on the food and you're not throwing it away, I think I might be able to help you. Because uh, what I found is when I had Matilda, well, I've still got Matilda, what am I saying? When Matilda was a baby, when I first got her, um, she used to climb in the ball, and it weren't this type of ball, it was a, a rat sized ball because uh, she, for some reason she just like climbing in and eating. She used to wean it, so then I was getting frustrated. I thought, oh, this is ridiculous because she's wasting food and it's not high hygiene, hygiene it for her. So I went down to the normal size, which I had these in anyway, the red one though, and that solved the problem. So, because she can't climb in it, she's too big. <laughs> now, he never did it, but he started doing it a few weeks ago, a little man here. Now, this is his usual bowl. You've all seen it before. This is his usual bowl. It's got his mix in. And now what I'm just going to do is, because he's uh, been doing it every couple of days, and not all the time, but, I don't want to gain, I want him to eat all his dinner, not just wee on a bit and take what he, because what he's doing, he's taking what he likes and then weeing on the rest. Very clever. <laughs> so what I'm doing is, starting tomorrow, I'm going down a size. So this will be his size. Anything, anything that you can use, like what you say for hamsters, obviously, you don't want to pour a plastic ball in, well, not plastic, but anything that they can chew through. But if you can get something ceramic like this, a little small one, he can't climb in this. And it's still low enough, so he's not going to struggle. He could just pop his head in, have a little fish around, take out what he wants, walk away. And he can't climb in. He might try, but he won't be able to get his butt in. So he's going to go through that training tomorrow. So... But tonight he's going to get his usual bowl because I don't want to upset things for him. Now, if you've got a raw bowl, obviously a raw bowl would fit in this. You then go down a size with a raw bowl to this. If your raw bowl's doing it. This again is low enough. The raw bowl might be able to sit in it, but it'll be very uncomfortable. So they probably won't do. They'll probably just eat it standing next to the bowl. So these, again, you can find in charity shops, um, un certain unusual shops which sell things like ceramics. and So this was like a trinket box with a lid on and it's ceramic. So I took the lid off and um, I use it as a little treat bowl. But I will be using it for my roll bowl when I get my roll bowl if he or she starts weaning in the bowl. The, but the roll bowl will get this size, actually. And if it's fine, it can stay in there. If not, it'll go to that bowl. Because I've got two of these, so... So, starting tomorrow, Rizabi's going to get this one. So, yeah. So, I just want to make sure that... If, if you're having that problem, I'm not saying it, it'll work, but... It worked for Matilda, and I'm hoping it's going to work for him. I will let you know, you know, if it does work. But... Make sure you don't get an eye one. If you get a small eye one, there's a struggle. So this one's just easy to put the paw over, get the head in, have a little nudge around, eat what they want without weaning on it. So, yeah, this is ideal. So these two are ideal, really. That one, This one should be more for dwarf anyway, because these are more for Syrians. Although they're, they're okay for dwarves and robos, if you get one that doesn't wee in it. <laughs> he used to be he used to be alright, he never used to do it. He just used to jump in his bowl, get what he wants, take it to his bed. And he, that, he was happy. So, yeah. So, if you've got a robo, then there you go again. A robo can do uh, quite happily. Eat away there. It's low enough for him to put the little paws in. Jobs are good in. So yeah, I just thought I'd help you guys and um, 
Yeah, you might well look, you little boy. You're naughty, aren't you? You are fiddling on your food. He's got really wise, you see, because he knows that... Because no one's going to leave a bowl, though, are they, if, this, if, a dance, if a hamster's weed on it? I mean, you're not going to leave it, though, and you just won't because you, the smell will be too great and obviously it's going to be unhygienic and it wouldn't be fair and the hamster wouldn't eat it and it'd probably starve. But he's doing, he's on, I think he's doing it because he's selective feed and he's taking what he wants, like I said. And then what he's doing then is weaning on the rest. So, of course, he knows that next time, he knows I'm going to take it away, put fresh in, and that's not on. It's got to be stopped. <laughs> so, yeah. So, make sure if when you get any type of hamster, you get the right size ball. Yeah. I mean, perfectly fine to start off with this. There's nothing wrong with this. I love these balls. You know, and if you're lucky and... Uh, they don't do it and they're just quite happily eating the Fine, great. But if they are starting to wean it after they finish what the selective feeding, then I do suggest you go on for something like these, these little cute balls. They're so easy to find. Charity shops, like I said, stuff like that. And there's three different sizes there, as you can see. And uh, if your Syrian does it... <coughs> And you you and you're using like a rat sized ball or something, then go down to this. Hopefully, unless you've got a t small tiny Syrian, they won't be able to fit in there. It would be uncomfortable and they just won't. So, yeah. But if you've got a, a normal sized Syrian like mine, she can't even get a butt in there. So it stopped her completely. But him, now let's just see if he does a demo. Are you going to do a demo, sweetheart? His eyes a bit sleepy at the moment. It's it's just a bit looking a bit sore today, but because he's been washing round it. There you go. As you can see, you can manage quite comfortable comfortably, and that's important. You must make sure, like I said, you don't have it too high, because otherwise the hamster just won't won't be able to eat. But there you go. He's not too hungry because he's just had a treat. So yeah. He's been washing that eye again. Oh, gosh, yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. It's clear, isn't it? It's just that he's got... Um, he's going, he's, I'm going to take him back to vet if it carries on, but it looks like it's dry eye now because he's, it's not infection. There's no swelling now. It's just a case of bathing it and just make sure. But anyway, that's a different topic. So, yeah, so I just thought I'd share this, guy, um, this tip with you guys. If you're getting frustrated with your hamster, like I said, and you're thinking, oh, I'm throwing food away, it's not getting the right nourishment because it's weaning on it and just eating what it wants, then, like I said, hunt around for some smaller bowls. Always go down a level. Serian, dwarf, raw bowl. Quite simple. So I hope this helps you guys, and um, it may not do, but... I thought I'd share with you anyway because I'm going to start him tomorrow. And as you can see, he was quite happy, quite comfortable eating out of that. So that level's fine for him. He can't climb in it. He's too big. That won't be fine. So that'll be his bowl from now on. This one will get washed and sterilised and put away. So, yeah, and I've got two of them. So while one's washing, I can have another one out. I always have two of each. Except I've only got one of them. But, um, yeah. So that's it, guys. Uh yeah, I hope this helps and give it a try. Just see, just see if it works. And uh, other than that, the only other option is scatter feed. But with scatter feeding, I know a lot of people like doing that, but I personally don't like doing it. I've never done it because I can't monitor what they're eating and stuff like. That. I don't know how much they're eating, and well, if if it's in the bowl, I can monitor it and watch it when it goes down and. So, yeah. So this is the way I'm going to work it now. and Just hope I can break him with the habit. Because if he weaves round, round the ball, 
which I've got a feeling he will do. At least it's not easy going to do it on the level. That can be just wiped clean, no problem with some baby wipes or antibacterial um, cage clean wipes, whatever they're called. And no problem. At least it won't be going on his food. So he left no choice but to eat it all then. Because um, I don't fill it up until he's, until he's eat all of it. Obviously, there's, if he's been there three days, then obviously throw it away. But he's usually a good eater, so I'm lucky that way. So, yeah. So, right, guys. Hope this helps. And if I find any more tips on anything else that I can think of, then I'll let you know. Oh, and um, at the moment I'm trying to work out a new... Uh, Amster diet video because I want to change the diet soon so there'll be an updated one soon and the, what, what I want to do is I want to mix the foods together then it'd be a lot simpler and uh, easier to do and less time consuming so but that'll be coming further down the line because I just did an Amster diet video and they're still on that one at the moment so yeah so give this a try guys and good luck with it all. Bye Evelings.